Thanks the Prime, yeah. You see Logan Paul bombarded his friend for his religious beliefs. This was super cringe. I, I did see that. This this was actually ahead of CoffeeZilla's video. He tried really hard to do the enlightened uh, atheist Redditor thing here on his show. And it was just fucking awful. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Like, regardless of your stance on religion... Why confront your friend about it in such an aggressive, condescending way? I really think he was trying to score brownie points, like, once again, going for, like, the safest possible stuff. Like, okay, most people, most people, like, make jokes about Christianity, so, like, yeah, they'll probably like this. But he committed so hard to it, and he fucked it. You guys, I won't I've play the whole thing, George. but it's bad. I've been bullying him so hard. I thought this was so funny, bro. <laughs> Oh come on! Where's the wait? where's just the uh, the core? I don't want to go through this. I just want to see the uh, the core components here. Oh here. A lot of progress happens with a lot of work, right? So if you, a bodybuilder's buff, he had to work out a lot. He had to eat. He had to make the right decisions. What about steroids? So you guys have made great decisions when it comes to business. You guys have made <laughs> that didn't age well. When it comes to like a lot of things, but what you guys have cared to ever open up is that spiritual side. So Here's what I would really, really, really highly suggest. Is tap in, and I'm not suggesting mine, but I'm just saying tap into one and see. Is this how not the right clip? Emotions because emotions. Oh, wait, you're right. This is George talking about it with him. Does he not fight him in this? I'm spiritual. Battle. I'm spiritual. I'm very spiritual. I pray every night. In fact, <clears throat> wait, what? It's not, what? You do? Since when? I I'm, pray every night. I pray twice a day. I'll pray right now. I'll do a prayer right now. Like I. This is from nine months ago. Wait, you're right. Well, he changed his tune real quick. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that didn't. That didn't last long. All right. Within nine months, he logged into Reddit and found atheism. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay. Even, even more in line with what I was saying, he's just very fake. He chooses whatever he thinks is the most, like, lukewarm stance and gets aggressive about it. And he tried it with Christianity against his friend George here, and it didn't work. It, like, it's, it's so fucking bad. Like, it's embarrassing to listen to regardless of how you feel about christianity religion whatever I, I, it's still just indefensibly embarrassing where the fuck is it where can i just find the the raw one is it this this is just a youtube short because i'll be honest with you bro jesus christ fucks oh genuinely i know people that hate me that treat me better about my faith than you and you're my best friend so like one that really hurt me is you told me i need a therapist because i believe in jesus i just am definitely questioning why we have to perpetuate a belief that is fucking I, I, silly i i think it's i think it's a silly practice to engage in and i think it's i think it deserves i imagine this isn't the whole thing because i'll be honest with you bro. yeah he he went on and on for a little while post that. Even still, it's just dumb. It's just still stupid. But yeah, he changed real quick in nine months, I guess. Things to give some milk drew and the bits. Roy Drew and Prime Santiago. Wow, he sounds smart. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good arguments. See a therapist because you believe in Jesus. Look, man, I I'm not the most religious man in the world, but I don't mind people who are. By all means, like, I, whatever makes people happiest, go for it. You found answers, I'm happy to hear it. It's like, it's su such an easy thing. Hey, you know, I... I'm not that spiritual, George, but I appreciate you uh, looking out for me in that way. Like, it's just simple, and then you move on. You know, it's easy. Or if you want to joke with your friend about it, do it in a more entertaining way. It's not about what makes you happy, it's about the truth. You will never find the fucking truth. That's the whole point. There's a level of just belief and faith you have to have, no matter what. The truth is something that will legitimately always elude you when it comes to the biggest possible picture. So find your own answers and find what makes you most comfortable in your life.
There's no point in being that fucking douchebag who's like, No, but it's a fucking 10,000-year-old book of garbage. It's all a lie. You don't have to believe it. It's fine. I just don't see the point in shitting on the guy for it. But you can make jokes out of it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I make plenty of jokes with my friends, like, on the podcast. Like, it's fine. But it's, it's never at a point where it's never coming from a place of, like, hatred for it. Like Windagoon, when he came on, he was telling us all the biblical stories. None of us are that religious, but we appreciate his faith and we welcome it and we love learning about it. It's it's just such such it's a simple thing. It's a very simple thing. There's no point in being that guy. It's like that's not the truth. That is not the truth. You shouldn't believe that because it's not the truth. Is it the end of Logan Paul after mocking religion and scamming? <laughs> no, man. What the fuck? No, it's not. It is so far from the end of Logan Paul. And the making fun of religion is going to be the last thing that would have ever gotten him taken out. He wouldn't have lost his uh, empire from mocking religion. It was just another fucking goofy, embarrassing moment from him. Even the scamming, as horrible as it is, is not going to lose him shit. Thanks to the tier one kitty and the resub soul and Mike and Ethan and Taku and gang. What would topple him in your opinion? Legitimately like a, a heinous crime. Scamming's horrible, but it's not to the level of like a, a sex crime, a murder, shit like that. Those I think would be the only things. It'd have to be, like, a crime that he faces real time for. He survived showing a suicide victim. Yeah, but as bad as that is, that's still not a crime, per se. So he always was going... Like I've said a million times, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter who you are, if you have a following, you will always have a following. You will always have people that support you no matter what you do. And they'll just write off anything that makes you look bad. You will always have a following. The only thing that would sink someone of Logan Paul's size is legitimately a fucking crime that he cannot defend himself from. That is the only thing. He could film a dead body tomorrow, post it on YouTube as a joke, as like an anniversary from the five years of the suicide forest, and he would still be fine in a month. Even you keep saying like EDP, but you guys realize EDP still has a huge audience on TikTok that unironically support him. He lost his following in most places, but like I said, no matter what, you will always have a following, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've said, unless you are actually facing time for what like a crime. EDP is an open pedophile, a history of it, and still has an unironic following on TikTok, and a big one at that. Chris, De, is it Chris? Is it Chris De, De Elia, which is what I've always said, or is it Chris De, De Elia? How the fuck do you say his name? Yeah, I know everything about that guy. He was one of my least favorite stand-up comedians way before all of his sex crimes were known. Dahlia, Chris, Chris Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlia. Oh my god, I'm getting mixed ones. Most people are saying Dahlia. Chris D'Elia. Okay. Yeah, that guy sucks. That guy, he like, super sucks. It's this guy. He's pretty big on YouTube, I know, and it's sad. 
even just setting aside all of the sexual crimes and shit, he is just a legitimately horrible stand-up comedian. I remember his podcast wasn't that bad, but it was mainly because the people around him were good. But man, his stand-up was fucking unwatchable. He's widely respected in stand-up. Oh, and then... So you're being sarcastic. Yeah, I still remember during the uh, roast of Justin Bieber when Hannibal was just going in. Uh, the one he said for Chris D'Elia was just really simple. He's like, yeah, everyone's got like a vice, like drinking and shit. But Chris D'Elia, his only vice is telling horrible stand-up. And I was like, God, that's the truest thing I ever fucking heard in my life. He's not nearly as bad as Amy. I don't put Chris D'Elia in my top three worst comedians of all time. That is still reserved for Amy Schumer, Brendan Schaub, and James Corden. Yes, he doesn't breach the top three, but he is definitely top... Maybe even top five. Safely top ten. Maybe top five. I'd have to think. He's a tier one scoot in the prime tomato and gunner. Oh yeah, that was actually entertaining. Chris Delia, God, Chris, I, I will never get his, I, I will legitimately never get his name right. Chris Delia, Chris, <laughs> man, fuck his stupid name too. Yes, he played a predator in one of his shows he was on. I think it was you. And then it turns out he was a legitimate predator in real life. It's not a hard name to say. I know, but I've just always called him Chris D'Elia for so long I can't break the habit. I've just had no respect for him for such a long time I never bothered to get his name right until tonight. And it's just, I'm having a tough time breaking it. It was Workaholics where he played the Predator? No, what, didn't he also play a Predator in you? Let me see. Yeah, he did. You producers reached out to teen cast member after the Chris D'Elia... After the Chris D'Elia uh, allegations. Yeah, he was in you as well. He played a Predator there. Yeah, following the sexual assault allegation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was a predator and workaholics too. <laughs> I mean, hey, he 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 knew he knew the right role for him. I can say a lot of bad things about that guy, but one thing I have to get him credit for is choosing the the roles that fit him best. <laughs> 